We're very confident in all the vaccines that we're using, and I think it's important for people to, to bear in mind that uh, all of them, uh, we think, are effective in delivering a high degree of protection against uh, serious illness and, and death, which is the, the most important thing. And we'll be continuing to study the, uh, the results, the effectiveness of the, of the vaccine rollout, and uh, that's going very, very fast indeed. And we'll be looking at the, uh, the ways in which uh, the, the population is starting to, to respond to the, the vaccines as we prepare to say what we're going to do in the week of the, of the 22nd and what kind of roadmap we want to lay out. But if it's the case that it isn't actually stopping people catching or indeed passing on the virus, is this going to mean a delay to the relaxation of lockdown? We think that all the vaccines that we're using, both the vaccines that we're currently using, are effective in, uh, as I say, in, in stopping uh, serious disease and, and death. We also think, in particular in the case of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine, that there's uh, good evidence that it is uh, stopping transmission as well. I think 67% uh, uh, reduction in transmission uh, with the, the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine. So... Uh, they remain a massive benefit to uh, our country and to uh, the population as we, as we go through the, the pandemic. And uh, I've no doubt that vaccines generally are going to offer uh, the way out. And uh, it, with every uh, day that goes by, you can see that medicine is, is slowly getting the upper hand over the disease. But what is the government doing to combat the threat of new variants? For example, do you need to go further on border controls? With border controls, obviously we have amongst the toughest border controls anywhere in the world and you, all sorts of steps that you have to go through, including uh, a lengthy period of, of quarantine if you come back from abroad. Uh, but the, they are most effective, uh, border controls, when you've got the rate of infection down in your country. And at the moment, as you know, we've, we've greatly reduced the rate of infection from uh, the peak where it was a, a few weeks ago, but it's still extremely high. And for border controls ready to make that, uh, that final difference so that you can isolate uh, new variants as, as they come in, you need to have infections uh, really much lower so you can track them as they spread. Don't forget uh, that uh, we in the UK are capable of, of seeing variants arise here uh, just in the, in the UK, the, 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 the UK, the, the Kent variant arose here. But that doesn't mean uh, that we're not going to uh, be relying very much on border controls as we get the rates of infection down overall, stopping it coming in, tracking the people who have the new variants. How concerned are you about the South African variant? I mean, obviously we are seeing surge testing taking place. And is, is that sufficient to control it? We believe that our vaccines are effective in, in combating a serious disease and, and death against, uh, against all uh, variants. But the, the most important thing is that the uh, vaccinologists, the scientists, are uh, getting ever faster uh, and more expert in coming up with the new uh, vaccines and the, and the variants of the vaccines, if you like, that are a, enable us to defeat the, the virus. So, yes, we're, we're doing everything we can to contain new variants, but I, we're also increasingly confident, as I say, uh, that science, medicine is gaining the upper hand over coronavirus and, and all its variants. Will school terms be extended into the summer holidays to allow pupils to catch up? On uh, February the 22nd, or in the week of fe February the 22nd, uh, we will be setting out. Uh, much more about what we're going to do to, to help uh, uh, pupils catch up, to help the kids ca catch up for the, the learning that they've lost. And as I said last week, this is the single biggest priority now uh, for the government. We can do things at, at great pace to try and remedy the, the gaps of the, in provision for health care, the, the, the loss of, of health care that people have suffered. We can speed up court cases, but we've got to work flat out now as a country, as a society, to remedy the loss of, of learning that kids have had. And so there's a, a, a big programme underway, as you know already, the, a billion pound more, another 300 million pounds we just announced, for catch-up, for one-on-one for -on -one 
tutorials, but we will certainly be setting out, uh, uh, Gavin Williamson will also be setting out in more detail exactly what we want to do to help kids catch up uh, and, and bounce back from this pandemic, because it's going to take a while to do that.